Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I have something really quick that I want to share with you and it is my pantry. Well, kind of. In my house, I don't have a pantry, so this is what I use and I think it looks really nice and I think that it's very convenient. It's more convenient than having all of these items put away in the cabinets. I have plenty of cabinet space, but I don't have any pantry. So, um, I just wanted to share this idea with you. I did do a video with me um, actually putting this area together, but I deleted all the footage by mistake, but I still wanted to bring you this idea because these brackets are only sold in Dollar Tree in the springtime. So I'm bringing you this video anyway just in case you want to utilize my idea because you will not find these any other time of year. And my Dollar Tree is starting to put out their spring stuff so I figured I would go ahead and make this video even though I deleted the footage of me actually putting it up. But I think that's pretty standard. You would want to make some straight lines across your area and um, you, you should use the I forget what they're called, but they're the little plastic pieces that come when you have screws. The wall anchors, that's what they're called. You should use wall anchors, or if you don't know what's behind your wall, if you if it's not secure, you will need to go and get some drywall screws that will hold it in place. Um, the Like I said, the brackets, they're called planters at Dollar Tree. So you can look in the sections. Um, I don't know how your store is set up, but you should be able to find them. They're always there in the spring. They sell a similar bracket in Lowe's, but it's like $5. And why pay five when you can get it for one? So um, all together, this, I call it an open-faced pantry, but shelving, whatever you want to call it, all together, it only cost me about $30, including everything. Um, these little canisters, one you can't see yet, but um, this little canister, I have another one on the bottom shelf. They were a dollar at the um, thrift store. The sign here at the top I got from Cracker Barrel relatively cheaply, two or three dollars. Um, there's a little vase behind that sign that was just a dollar at the thrift store. And the canisters were also a dollar. They have a similar canister at the Dollar Tree, but I did not get mine from Dollar Tree. But you can find those canisters if you want to go more high end with them, you can. I was scared that this might fall, so I didn't invest a lot of money in the canisters. But I got them from um, a store similar to like a DD's Discounts. So if you have a store like that, just check. Or they, like I said, they have some similar ones at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. So what I did was um, buy the canisters and then these little black labels. I just bought those separately at Michael's for like a couple of dollars with the coupon. So um, in this bucket, there are herbs growing. And so that will be um, a nice addition to my kitchen. When they grow in the springtime, they're, they smell so fragrant. They have my whole kitchen smelling good. So in this little bucket, which also came from Dollar Tree, um, I had sweet basil, cilantro, oregano, and parsley growing in there and they all grew just side by side pretty well so um, that's really good and I just have my cereal, my pasta, flour, sugar, brown sugar, things that I would like to have quick access to but other if I hadn't if I didn't have this system they would be in the cabinet where I would have to dig them out so I really love this I think it's functional and also very pretty it, when you come in my kitchen it's kind of like a focal point I think it looks really pretty, and so I'm happy to share this idea with you. The shelves I got from the thrift store as well for a dollar a piece, and I have five shelves. Yeah, five shelves here. Um, they sell this exact same shelf at Lowe's, but it's not a dollar. But sorry, you're probably gonna have to spend the money on them, but they're not too expensive. They're in the closet organization section, so you can find these same exact. Um, shelves at Lowe's or you can buy a big piece of wood and just have them cut it down for you whichever is cheaper um, but like I said these planters um, they have a similar one at Lowe's if you want to spend the money but if you're cheap like me you don't so go to Dollar Tree and get these they come with the screws it's a really good deal it's not intended for this purpose but it's working out just fine this has been up here for at least a year and a half and 
no problems with it at all. It's very sturdy. Nothing has taken a tumble. Um, I think it looks really cute. So um, you can decorate it with whatever you want. You can put food items on it like I have. You can do kind of a mixture. I have some decor. I have a cookbook up there, a little side, something just to jazz it up, whatever you want. But I think it's a really great deal. And having only paid a dollar for the shelves and a dollar for each bracket, it is a good deal. So if you don't have a pantry, here's my what I've done with mine. I'm gonna give you some more images um, in a second and kind of pan from top to bottom because you're not getting the bottom shelf. But yeah, I just wanted to share this idea with you for under 30 bucks. I got all 10 of these brackets, all five shelves. And um, also, these were a dollar each at the discount store. You can get some nicer ones from Container Store. You can get some similar to these from Dollar Tree. Get you some chalkboard labels. And I've, I don't know if you can see it, but I've written what everything is on there. So I really love this DIY. It is really pretty, but also functional. And that's one thing that I love about my DIYs. I love functional DIYs. So it adds a statement in, your, in my space and it looks really nice and organized. So I like that. Um, you could paint it and make it whatever color you want. Um, these brackets were black when I got them, which just so happens to match in my kitchen, but I'm sure they would take spray paint just fine if you wanted to paint yours a different color. It's important that you make sure that they are straight though. Some of them can be a little wonky, kind of cro crooked, crooked, and you don't want that because you need them to be straight because the shelves will be straight and you just want them all to lay nicely on top of each other. So um, this is one of my favorite DIYs that I've done. It is really beautiful yet functional. It was really cheap and it adds a lot of impact and it makes um, my cooking more convenient. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments box below. Um, if you like this DIY, if you plan to, to use this idea, you could also leave that in the comments below. If you don't have a pantry, here's the solution for you. So um, yeah, that's just about all I have to say. Go to Dollar Tree and get these planters and use them for shelving. Even if it's not in your kitchen, you can, I'm sure, use this idea in another room in your home. So there's stuff that if you have little ones and you want to get stuff, certain things up high where they can't reach it, use this idea. I don't think these will take a lot of weight, but I mean, they've taken a bag of sugar, a bag of brown sugar, and a full container of rice just fine. So. The most important part is just making sure that you hang it, put the nail or the screws inside of a stud or get the proper screws that you will need, drywall screws at Lowe's so, or Home Depot, whichever your preference. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this DIY. I hope you found it helpful. I'm very sorry that I deleted the footage, but I'm still a new YouTuber, so I'm sure that will happen again at some point in the future. But I'm happy to share this DIY with you. I hope it is some useful information. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.